let's move into the lecture 8 of DC motors and we will look into DC motor starting or the starters of DC motor so for, so far we have looked into the motor principle back EMF voltage equation torque equation speed equation and speed control methods of DC motors the speed control methods of DC motor above and below the rated speed was achieved by various methods like varying the flux and varying the armature voltage and which was achieved by varying the resistance also ward leonard system was seen again it is seen that the speed of any dc motor is directly proportional to the back emf and it is inversely proportional to the flux again the current was given by v minus eb minus ra it is seen that the current flowing through the motor is directly proportional armature is directly proportional to the supply voltage minus back emf divided by the resistance of the armature which is also v minus back emf is can also be written as k phi n divided by r also it is seen that the speed is directly proportional to back emf and it is inversely proportional to the flux so at the instant of starting the rotor speed is zero so the current will be very high that is the current will be directly equal to V minus RA so as the back e speed is zero the back EMF will be zero so the current at the instant of starting will be very high and such kind of a large current could damage the armature windings and it will cause sparking in the commutator segments for the machine so in large practical large machine speed will be picked up slowly so there will be some time to reach the rated speed so the speed will be close to zero for some time during the time the armature windings and the commutator will be exposed to high winding currents much more than the rated and may lead to sparking failure and breakdown. Also the large current intake will cause dip in supply voltage which may result or which may affect the operation of the nearby equipments. So for small motors so the effect of starting may not be significant and may not require any additional equipment for the starting period but for large machines it is necessary to reduce the armature current at the instant of starting and this is done by using starters known as DC motor starters for such machines. We will look into the principle of a simple starter. We will look into a simple starter for the DC machine. It is seen that a starting resistance is connected in series with the armature so at the time of the starting the resistance will be moved to the maximum so that uh, the resistance of the starting or the RST resistance is added with the armature resistance thus increasing the resistance uh, of the armature and thus reducing the current while once the motor picks up speed the starting resistance will be cut down so the speed can be or the starting current will be picked up to limit the starting current a suitable external resistance e or rext is connected in series to the armature so this is the first step of what happens then so the armature current is equal to voltage divided by RST plus RA so the starting resistance plus so as the motor picks up speed the value of RXT is decreased to zero so that no external remains in the circuit so once the motor picks up the speed there will be back EMF and the back EMF will counter the volt both the, the supply voltage and the armature current will get back to the normal so till the motor picks up speed a resistance is added in series with the armature so that the speed can be or the armature current can be controlled now one of the drawbacks of this is that if the supply goes off due to some problem in the supply side or due to load shedding motor will come to a stop so the speed will decrease all of a sudden let us imagine supply is restored then there, there is nothing but full load voltage starting again so one should be constantly alert to see, set the resistance to maximum value whenever the motor comes to a stop so this is one major limitation of a simple rheostatic starter so in the case the supply voltage is gone off and it comes back suddenly then the motor will again be exposed to the full starting current and this disadvantage can be overcome by a three point starter 
and three point starter is extensively used to start a DC motor. It is not only overcomes the difficulty of a plain resistance starter but also provides additional protective features such as overload protection and no volt protection. That is the voltage. When the voltage is removed it will provide some form of protection. In this kind of starters when the supply is disconnected there is also a reset of the starting resistance which happens and to start the motor again the starting resistance has to be moved to the position again. So as you can see this is a diagram of a simple three point starter and initially the handle is on in the off position neither armature nor, the, nor all the resistance in the series get connected to the supply. So the starting resistance is not connected as the machine picks up speed handle is moved further to stud number 2 in this position the external resistance in the armature circuit is less. Again in this way all the resistance will be cut off as the speed of the machine picks up. And the electromagnet will attract the soft iron piece attached to the handle and it will remain in that position connecting the field winding. Let's look again into the diagram to know more about this. And looking into the diagram, as you can see, there's a handle which will be moved from, which is connected to the supply and which will move from one and when it's connected to one the full resistance of the armature is connected full resistance of the starter is connected in series with the armature resistance so the voltage will be or the current in, across the armature will be supply voltage divided by armature resistance plus starter resistance as the armature picks up speed slowly the stud or the handle is moved to the position 2 3 4 and it will come to the position 12 where all the armature or the starter resistance will be cut off so the armature current will be supply voltage divided by the armature resistance and the handle will be kept in the position 12 by the electromagnet which will attract it and in case the supply goes up the electromagnet will be de-energized and the starter will come back to the position number one and this way to start the motor again the procedure will have to be repeated and the motor will be protected from over current in case uh, the supply comes back suddenly that's all if you like this video please do subscribe like and comment